Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about one of the most fundamental concept in Android app development and it's called linear layout. So we will see what a linear layout is, how do we define a linear layout, how do we use that in a program and also we will see how to add views to the linear layout. Let's start with the definition first. A linear layout is a view group which aligns or draws the views vertically or horizontally. Let's uh, break the definition apart and let's define the view group first. So a view group is a special kind of group that can contain other views inside of it. So uh, we can say that a view group is a container view which can hold other views. And now coming to the second part of the definition which says that the linear layout aligns the views vertically or horizontally in a linear fashion, hence the name a linear layout. Now let's understand a linear layout via programming. I have already uh, set up a project and we can see two files. One is the main activity dot java file and the second one is activity underscore main dot xml and we define our layouts in the xml file. So now let's go ahead and open the file. So here we have opened uh, the xml file and we can see that we have two parts. On the right side, we can see that we have a user interface or a mobile screen, which shows our view components. So currently we have just one view component, the text view, which shows the hello world on the screen. And on the left side, we can see that we have some code written and there is a constraint layout and a text view inside of it. We will take a look at the constraint layout in some other video. For now, we will remove all the code and we will write from scratch. Now let's define the linear layout and for that we will have to use the opening tag and we will type linear layout and we will close the tag. Now we have to define some properties which are required for every view group we define. First one is layout height which we can set to match parent for now and the second one is layout width which we can set to match parent as well. Uh, we will take a look at match parent and wrap content in the coming videos. As we saw in the definition and that a linear layout is a view group which contains other views inside of it. So we will define some views inside of the linear layout as it is a container view. Now we will define some views inside of the linear layout. So by inside we mean that within the starting and ending tag since the linear layout is a view group it means that we can define views or other view groups inside of the linear layout. We'll start by defining a button inside of a linear layout with an opening tag as we saw before. And we will set some properties including the width and the height and we set a both to wrap content. Let's zoom a bit to see better. Now we can see that a button is showing up on the right side in the user interface a plain button with nothing showing as the text. So now we will go ahead and define some properties. We'll start by setting the text of the button. Let's name it button1. Okay now let's also set the margin to make it look more nice. So we'll start by setting the margin left to 16 dp and a margin right, uh, sorry margin top to 20 dp. We are done with this button. Now let's define another button to demonstrate the linear layout. We will set the width and height for this button to wrap content as well. And we will call this button button2 by setting the text property on that button. Once that's done, we will set the margin for this button as well like we did previously. So let's go ahead and define the margin property. So we will set the margin left to 16 dp and a margin top to 16 dp as well and also a margin right to 16 dp. Okay so now we have defined our two buttons and now we can see that they are aligned horizontally with each other. Now if we have to change the orientation for the buttons we have to set a property for the linear layout and it's called orientation and we'll go ahead and define the property and we will set that to vertical to align the buttons vertically. And now we'll change that back to horizontal. Okay, so we are done with the coding part. Let's go ahead and run the program. 
so we can see it on a real device, which is actually an emulator. So our program is running and uh, we can see that we have uh, two buttons which are displayed horizontally on the device. So that's it from this video and in the next one we will see some uh, more properties of the linear layout and we will also explore a relative layout and constraint layout in more detail. So thank you for everyone for watching. Please subscribe.